I'm Rafa Bartoszewski. I've lived in a city for all my life, but I always knew that the best and the most important things are outside. That's why I want to take you. Closer to the nature. We are going to the place that I know. I admit that it's not too far away from civilization, but there is a big probability that we'll find Rodi there. They are our today's targets. I think that we are lucky today because the fox starts disappearing. And what about the animals? There are even more than I thought. Like I said before, I know this place. I know that road you feel very good here. They can use the open space of cultivated fields, and right next to them is a forest where animals can hide themselves. That's why I knew that it is worth to come here. In autumn and winter, herds of roe deer consist of females, males and young. But in April, females detach from the herd to find place to give birth, and males detach to find their own place for a time of mating season. After childbirth, females look after their children and they can connect with other females, creating small herds. But males, for the end of the mating season, which falls in July and August, tolerate on the territory only females but without cubs and presence of other males is inadmissible. I wouldn't be me if I didn't try to take a closer look at them. You have to be careful because roe deer have excellent sense of smell and hearing and it's very easy to scare them. Although their sense of sight is not the best, they respond well to movement, so it's good to use every obstacle behind which you can hide. The animals are alert and they observe the area. In confrontation with the predator, they are practically vulnerable and they can only run away, so they cannot let anyone surprise them. I'm trying to stay unnoticed. I'm behaving as quiet as I can. I'm walking on four legs. But still, one roadier keeps an eye on me all the time. Most of the individuals in this herd are females, but there is also at least one male which stands out among others because he still has the antlers on his head. I said still because it's the beginning of November and the road you shed their antlers in October or November.
Finally, I heard that. Most of the road deer that surrounded me started barking. I heard barks from everywhere around me. It's a characteristic voice of road deer, which is used for many purposes. For example, males use it to show other individuals that they are ruling in this area. But animals use it mainly to inform other members of the herd that they saw a danger. Of course, I am a danger at the moment. Road deer surrounded me, they are barking, they are observing me. By barking they want to provoke me to move, but I haven't done it yet, so they are still here and they are still provoking me to reveal myself. They are telling me that they know about me, but they are not really sure if they are right. If I move, the next barking will inform that they are sure that I am here and I have to run away. After that, all of them should run. All of the road deer went closer to the forest, so to the place where they can be safe, where they can run avoiding danger that comes from the opposite direction. They are still observing me and barking. They haven't run away yet and I am still keeping a safe distance, but they keep observing me as they are walking next to the border of the forest to have a place to run away. The last barks came from the forest. I've stood up, so animals were sure that I am here. While they were barking and informing other members of the herd that they saw a danger, they run to the forest where they feel safe. 